Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Joe. Good morning, Mr. Joe. This is two crazy ketos. It's not <laughs> coastal kids. Anytime that you say good morning like that, I feel like I need to be like, good morning, we preschoolers. We filmed so many videos. It's like, we don't even know which one we're doing. Sometimes we like film the ending part and it's like, we say the two crazy campers or vice versa. I'm like, which video are we doing today? I'm just really glad that I've never said balls in a preschool curriculum. <laughs> I feel like that's a non-scale victory right there. <laughs> So we just finished shooting a part of, or the ending part of a full day of eating vlog, and we got off onto a 15 minute tangent <laughs> about, you know us, right? Yeah. About um, accountability and some changes we're going to make and it was really, really good. It was very helpful for us. And so we thought, you know what? Let's make that this week's breakout. Let's talk about it. Sorry we're in our pajamas for the entire video, but here we go. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I'm so proud of you for not like <laughs> making me like restart the video for this part. It's like my mom would never let us smack gum. It's like a, that ding, oh, ding, 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 and like the chewing sound, yeah. We would do car rides when I was a kid. We don't would be driving gum. upstate and my mother would be like, stop smacking the gum. I'm like, I'm not smacking the gum, I'm popping the gum. Don't talk back to me. <laughs> <laughs> I need clarification. Right, exactly. But so yeah. speaking of clarification, this morning we were filming the end of a vlog and it was supposed to just be like literally like good morning. Good we morning. didn't end the vlog yesterday. How do you like your hair? Because you just did your hair. And we got off into a 15 minute tangent about accountability because we're changing things up because neither one of us are very good at being accountable. Yeah, and it's hard to be vulnerable to one another. Yeah. If you're having a struggle, especially if you have been, you know, doing this for a while. Right. You definitely don't. You think you got it. You think you got it. And you definitely don't want to um, admit that you're struggling. Like, mm -hmm. it's very, very hard, especially if you've been doing it for a while. Or if you're trying to encourage somebody else. So, like, the moment that my mom started on the diet after, you know, because of our influence, we didn't want to make any mistakes or let her know that we were having any type of struggle because you want them to be successful. So you don't want to act like there's going to be any problems or bumps along the way, but it's right. really not realistic. I did really well yesterday. It's like probably the first day in like close to a month that I haven't had something like not, I don't want to say off plan because off plan insinuates that I'm eating something not keto off of what I was planning on eating for the day. Like still keto, but like I didn't do a drive-by in my office yeah. or a drive-by in the kitchen or something like that. So I was really proud we had that plan. So I think what I'm gonna do for the foreseeable future, because I have got to get rid of this and I've got to get back into like control because I controlled myself for three years and COVID somehow got me to lose control again. And so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold myself accountable 24 hours at a time. And I'm gonna start the night before writing down, this is what I'm eating tomorrow. Because the whole writing thing down. of- Did everybody hear that? Well, writing down, or at least in my head. But my writing down, I can write it down in my head, but part of my writing it down is, I have to hold myself accountable by telling you what I'm gonna eat. That's not a bad idea. And then you have permission to slap it out of my hand. I'm gonna goody beats it. Yeah, kind of like you did with those eggs. Like you just like, no! Like I watched that video and you look like a toddler. Oh, right? that when we were having to, yeah, the 100 year old If you eggs. haven't seen that, I'll leave a link up here. So yeah, I think that that's what I'm gonna do because here's the thing, the whole thing of like eat as much as you want until you're full and that works really well where you don't have to count calories if you're only eating one meal a day. But if you get like me lately where you're eating three, four, five times a day, like 100 calories here, 200 calories there, and then you sit down at lunch and you eat as much as you want, 
now it doesn't work anymore. Right. So I've got to get myself, I'm going to rein myself back into a combination of uh, eating a little bit less food, but knowing how much I'm going to eat ahead of time and reining it into like a smaller window, like just like a four or five hour window. And then I'm going to tell you what I'm eating so that you can hold me accountable. And if you're doing, I think that's a great idea. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Do I have permission to slap food out of your hand? Because usually yeah. you tell me I have permission to slap food out of your hand. Well, not slap it, but just say like, hey, you're not supposed to eat that. And then when I do, you're like, mind your own business. <laughs> no, absolutely you do. Okay. I Again, I cannot stress enough how 24 hours works so much better for us than a one-week plan. Yeah. Because, again, if we have a set plan for one week... And then on one of the days of the week, usually Wednesday or Thursday, like in the middle of what you're trying to accomplish, you have a fail. The whole rest of the week is shot because you're like, well, I blew it because Or I, you just feel like a failure. I like that's what I'm, I'm, I'm just a failure. I'm one of those people that's like, oh, no, nope, you lost because the goal was the week. Right. So for me, a 24 hours, if your plan is every 24 hours, I'm setting the goal and achieving it. If you have a bad day, it doesn't mean a bad week. Right. Because we know weeks can turn into months and years very, very quickly. So I'm going to do the same thing. I loved yesterday to like add to the whole empowerment that I felt was I had a plan for that day because I knew it was going to be stressful. Good stress or bad stress is stress. Stress is stress. And you're going to stress eat. You could good stress eat or bad stress eat. And I didn't want to do either of those things. So I had a plan. And I stuck to it. Right. And I felt really good about myself. And this morning, it was nice to like roll over and both of us be smiling at each other because we had right. both felt good about ourselves. We've been talking for 15 minutes. What's wrong with us? I don't know. I was excited to talk this morning. Okay. Well, I do want to say this real quick. And then we, I promise we're going to finish this up. We have each other to do this. If you don't have somebody, Go to our Facebook family group. Somebody in that group will help hold you accountable. I've seen people comment like, wow, you guys have each other. I don't have anybody. You do though. You do. You have over 3,000 people in our Facebook family group. And a lot of people in our Facebook family group have become like friends like outside of the group and they text each other. Go into that group. There's a link down below and say, hey, I need an accountability partner. Exactly. And if you don't have, if nobody responds to you, Email one of us. Yeah. Okay? And we'll help you. Because that's what we need. We are a family. That's why we call it the Two Crazy Ketos family. And we want somebody to help you be accountable. If you can't find anybody, somebody will. And if nobody will, which I know is not how our family works. You got it. We will. But yeah, pair up, put, out, put yourself out there and say, be willing to say, hey, I need to be vulnerable. I need a partner. Um, I'd like a not so secret Santa right. that is going to, that I can make my list to and share we with. We were actually just reading about this in our book this morning. Every morning we get up, we have a book and every morning we read like a, a not a whole chapter, but a piece of the chapter. Just it's our like, devotion time. It's like our devotion time. And this morning, what we were talking about, right? We were talking about confession mm -hmm. and finding somebody that you can truly trust and confessing how you feel, not just if you're doing something wrong, but just like, hey, somebody that you can have, that you can trust, that can hold you accountable, that you can say like, hey, I'm struggling here. It's exactly what we were praying about this morning. Exactly. And the thing is, is that if you've got something that you're kind of doing in the dark, like the snacking or you're eating off plan or you're doing drive-bys by the refrigerator. That is all stuff that you're a little embarrassed about. That's things that, those are things that I'm embarrassed about. That's why right. when I was eating a Reese's Pieces like before keto, I was doing it in the bathroom. That's not like an empowered, proud woman that's like got her stuff together if I have to eat my food in the toilet, right? right. Like that's, that's, that's in the dark. I'm in the dark. If you shine a light on the dark, it winds up not being dark anymore. That's right. So that's part of what we're doing is when you share it with somebody, yes, you're being vulnerable, but I truly believe that the people in our Facebook family group, they care about one another. They care about what you're going to do. And if you're going to be vulnerable enough to share 
some of the things that you've been maybe keeping in the dark as far as your eating goes and you want to bring those to light, they're a safe place that you can trust. They're not going to make fun of you. They're going to encourage you and they're going to help you shed some light on what you're struggling with and get better. Right. So with all that being said, I just realized that I need to have some structure and I need to have somebody to hold me accountable to that if I want to get through these holidays and not weigh 250 pounds at the end of them. Well, that's a good plan, right? Don't wait until January if you think you need to tighten some stuff up. And I feel really honored to be your accountability partner. I think some people are worried that if I reach out to somebody, I'm going to burden them. But honestly, this is saying that you trust me as a person and that makes me feel good about me. And I want you to know, and if you're doing this with your partner, you're the guy that I go to to kill the spiders in the house. <laughs> And I want you to know that if you're willing to be vulnerable with me about problems and kind of like confess, hey, I'm struggling today, or I need to bring you my meal plan and let you let you in on what's happening today, that doesn't diminish how I see you. Right. I'm still gonna come to you with my spider issues. I'm still going to come to you as somebody that fixes stuff. It's okay to be vulnerable. That doesn't change you know, the dynamic of trust back and forth. And I know sometimes it's hard to make your partner um, your accountability partner because you want to be able to keep things from your partner. Like sometimes you just, you don't want your partner to know everything. Like think about when you first get together, like, you know, you don't want them to know all your dirty habits, right? right. And, and if that's the case and you don't want to make it like the person you're living with, that's okay. Again, Go join our Facebook family group or find, if you have somebody else in your life, you know, find another friend. They don't even necessarily have to be keto. They, you know, if they at least understand your struggles, you can say, hey, like I'm having this struggle. I need you to help me get through it. But again, if you don't have anybody, you have our Facebook family group. And if nobody in the Facebook family group will help you, you email us. Our emails are down below. It's Joe or Rachel at twocrazyketos.com and we will be your accountability partner. But yeah. yeah, it is sometimes hard to ask your spouse, your significant other, something like that because you don't want to be too vulnerable, but you're you're what I have, so I'm going to use you. Well, I'm glad that you are because honestly, like failure day to day is not the bigger problem. The bigger problem is always going to be isolation. Right. The isolation, if you put yourself in an isolation situation, then you will go down a hole and like it will be a lot longer time of bad behavior that you don't want to be in. Yeah. Well, that is going to be today's let talk, Let's Talk About It. Uh, let us know down in the comment section if you have these kind of struggles and what your plans are to maybe get through the holidays or your plans are if you're like in a situation where, you know, you're struggling with something or something like that. Uh, now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out our entire playlist of Let's Talk About It, which you can find right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we do a video entirely in our pajamas, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.